Okay, now that we've talked a little bit about arrays and understanding rows and columns, let's use our rows and columns to figure out how many dots or shapes or whichever figure that you're using in your array, how many total that we have. And we can use repeated addition in order to do that. So this one, we have four rows of two. One, two, three, four rows with two in each row. So instead of going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to figure out how many we have, we can simply use repeated addition because we know each row has two. We can put two plus two plus two plus two, and then we can skip count two, four, six, eight. So we know that four rows of two equals eight total. Let's look at our columns. Now this is the same array, so we should get the same answer. We have two columns with four in each column. So we can say four plus four equals eight. Let's take a look at this one. We have five rows, one, two, three, four, five rows with four in each row. So this time we're going to add up all fours and we have five of those, four, 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 and four. And skip counting by fours is a little more difficult. Um, you know that four plus four is eight and then you could just simply use your fingers and say eight plus four, so eight in your head, nine, 10, 11, 12, 12 in your head, 13, 14, 15, 16, and then 16 in your head, 17, 18, 19, 20. And so five rows of four equals 20. And again, same thing. This is the same array, so it should have the same answer. But this time we're doing our columns and we have four columns with five in each column. So this time we're skip counting by fives, five, 10, 15, 20. And so when you're doing your array, you could say, five, 10, 15, 20. Or if you were counting your rows, you could say four, eight, 12, 16, 20. Okay, one more example. We'll use our triangle shapes. We have four rows, one, two, three, four rows with three in each row. So this time we're skip counting by threes, three, six, nine, 12. So three plus three plus three plus three equals 12. And the same with our columns. We have three columns with four in each column. So that's three fours. So four, eight, 12.